yes it's about being able to pay your school fees while in australia as an international student this has been a common question i've received a lot of this question recently so many people want to come to australia as international student and they are worried because they are not very sure if they'll be able to make their subsequent school fees while studying in australia so i said why not make a video to address this question all right so if this sounds like something you want to hear please sit back and let's dig in hi everyone welcome to my channel jenkenny's creation where we keep it real my name is jane and i live in australia welcome thank you my subscribers you guys rock and if you are new here please do subscribe to my channel and become a member of this beautiful family where we keep it real all right let's dig in many of you are worried some people want to come to australia via student visa you know that student visa is one of the surest way to settle in australia like you want to be a citizen you want to be a permanent resident of australia it is serving a clear pathway for you don't forget that however it's very expensive financial implication is huge not everyone can afford it there are options okay sponsorship you decide on how you want to do it however people are worried that if they finally find a way to pay their initial school fees and come over to australia would they be able to make their school fees from working while in australia or from any other means okay so let's talk about it first of all i want to talk about scholarship okay when you are here as an international student please push for scholarships go and register put your email there so that when any scholarship for international students comes up you will be notified okay there are scholarships that comes every year there are some that come every semester even if it's 15 percent of your school fees is something 10 percent of your school fees is something okay look for grants and so on they're running year round semester round and so on don't just relax while you push for your school fees okay all right i want to tell you that when you are studying in Australia as an international student, you are allowed to study and work part-time. All right. Before we go in detail, I want to talk about the kind of job you can do that might fetch you good money. We've talked about healthcare assistant, but it depends on where are you working. Okay. You can work in aged care. You can work as a disability worker. You can work with NGIS. I've, I've made a couple of videos to address this workplace and how much you earn. All right yes as an international student you are allowed to work in australia how much hour can you work since covid international students are allowed to work on limited hours because of covid they, it is stopping this june okay Ju it ends end of june from first july international students are allowed to work 48 hours during session school session and unlimited during school holidays okay However, if you are going to be working in aged care, in an aged care facility, you are still allowed to work unlimited until December. Okay? So no one knows whether this is going to change after December or they are going to stretch it. Okay? Everyone knows that Australia is in dire need of healthcare assistance to work in aged cares. Okay? There are DAMA agreements. Only one organization has ever signed it. We don't know what is happening. International students are still filling that gap, but they can't fill the whole gap. But they are using them at least. So we don't know after December whether they are going to stretch it. Okay. So a tip for you: if you want to work on limited hour, you can get a job in an aged care facility. It doesn't matter which aged care. Once you are working in aged care, you work on limited hours. That is a plus. Okay. However, you can decide to work other places, okay, that pay you. You can do other jobs, you can do security job, you can do, but if I am an international student, I will go for aged care or 
support worker support worker pay you higher anyways if you manage to get NDIA support worker you are good to go even though it's not part of aged care but you earn good money now another tip i want to give you is when are you supposed to work let's assume you are supposed to work 48 hours during school session and unlimited hours during school holidays when you work on saturday i've said it so many times in this channel you earn plus 50 percent of what you are earning if you work eight hours on saturday it's just like you work eight hours plus another word four hours that is half of eight okay so it means that you work like 12 hours but you're actually counting for eight hours you work on sunday is plus 70 percent it goes that you do night shift is plus 25 or plus 20 depending on your employer so you need to work smart if you're actually going to make your school fees another thing is that you can negotiate with school some of the international students have said that they negotiate with school and they pay fortnightly in australia salary wages are paid every fortnight that is every two weeks you can negotiate with your school and every two weeks when you get your salary they take the money so that you don't pay him bulk okay so it depends on the school you just need to ask one good thing about australia is that don't just fold your hands because smith has said to you that they didn't allow smith doesn't mean that you cannot make your request you need to ask okay make inquiries okay so another way is that some international students when they come to a particular city they have to associate with people from their home country if you are from ghana if you are from indian you see indian association of the city or a, a state you are living associate with them go to the meeting or their function eat with them drink with them and find out if there is something how they help people or the, any contribution they do for students or so on some people do what they call money collection program in the sense that they call it aja or isusu or in some languages okay so it means that every month or every fortnight depending on how the program runs for you maybe 10 people will be contributing money okay so someone that told me said that when she was a student they used to contribute money so during the school fees payment period those people that are not students will allow them to have their own collection you know when they are doing that collection they will say that okay and um, person a will pick in january so when they contribute 10 people for example contribute and in january you take the money person b in february will take the whole money person c in march so they will do it in such a way that during the school fees paying period the student will pick during that period so it means that everyone in the group will contribute for you you pay so then you gradually start contributing depending on how you want to do it okay and apart from the job that the government is counting for 48 hours and unlimited hours there are other things you can do on your own if you know how to plait hair how to cut hair boys and girls it doesn't matter whether you're a male or a female a male can make hair a, a, a female can cut male hair depending okay there's nothing like gender blah 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 here you can do anything and there is other way you can make money apart from this your handwork you can actually pick cans i'm going to make a video about that i have a video already i'm going to show people how to pick cans and sell them and you make money no one is counting this it's like money you make without even tax and stuff no one cares and it's big money you can easily pick these things okay now let's talk about your school fees and the holidays okay so in australia school system runs like 10 weeks and you have your holiday and school fees is paid every semester let's assume that your school fees is twenty-eight thousand, okay or maybe let's just use thirty thousand per year so every semester you pay fifteen thousand. and for example first semester will stop in end of may okay end of may or beginning of june so half of june july is your holiday august you start school okay sometime in august then you do august september october then you have a midterm there's always one week midterm break then you close in december then you have december you close in november ending you have december january february first week of march you start another year so it's march april may middle of june or first week of june you are in holiday so you have at least complete one month 
to hit the ground running do double shift do anything you can and another secret i want to share with you is this when you move in as an international student find people from your country that are students i'm not talking about people that already established i'm talking about the students that have already been here they know the system and how it works there are things i cannot share in this video today for some reason but find these people they will tell you how they are doing this i know that the government said if you are not working in aged care you have to work 48 hours during the school period and unlimited during school holiday however there are other means these people are making it okay are they making it yes okay but it depends on you if you have the strength you have the ability are you determined to do it that's why you someone cannot say categorically yes you can make your school fees so it's better to tell you all the means in which you can make your school fees however it depends on you can you do this and that okay you need to find out what other people are doing when you come in make friends not the first time you find them you start asking them this question so no they will go defense because no one wants to expose their secret you need to first of all go closer to them let them trust you and they will open up to you all right people are doing it if you are determined to do it you can it is hard it's not going to be like and you can actually buy your car another thing i want to tell you is that if you are coming as an international student please make sure you come with your driver's license international driver's license to at least use it for the meantime before you convert to your state own in australia it is very helpful will you be able to find car yes you will find a second hand car that is affordable for you when you come now how do you find job because that's another question i will be getting when you come here as a healthcare assistant you do not need to do much first of all if someone is going to employ you as a support worker to work for ndis national disability insurance scheme okay if someone a private business owner a private company owner for ndis that want to employ you sometimes they don't need much they will train you you start to work okay but you need car to navigate it however we have public transport system you can still use it but it cannot take you faster you need to wait for a particular time to go in and out and sometimes it doesn't stop you exactly where you want it to stop you and sometimes before they employ you they will make sure that you can drive or you have a car as well okay if you want to go to age care and have your certificate three in individual support or healthcare assistant it is easier okay so you can do a crash course i've made video about that six weeks seven weeks and so on ten weeks before you know it for the semester closes you already have your certificate and you do not need to go to a fast facility to get a job or something work with agency first and get your experience you just go to google and search your local agency job agency and there will be a lot looking for people to employ again if you live in a big city like sydney uh, uh, melbourne perth and so on you may not find a lot of jobs because there are so many people you may find job maybe somewhere one hour drive two hours drive and so on so you have to make up your mind where to live and where is your school located okay so if it's a big city where there's so many people struggle for job and stuff you may get agency that will send you somewhere to drive like one hour one hour, half hour and so on to drive these are the challenges you meet okay however working smart will help you a lot and with all this information i have given you i hope it makes sense okay so being able to make your school fees is entirely your choice how determined are you to push okay and that brings us to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel like my video share please thank you bye